Hello everybody, my name is Alan. Welcome to my talk on Wesson Cloud with Burby ECS. How this combination could potentially be the solution to solving world of indie game developers. One of the greatest world of creating multiple player game is usually they will deploy in Amazon EC2 and usually the container costs money. So Amazon also has a cheaper alternative using serverless technology called uh, AWS Lambda. Let's talk about content creation. Let's compare with creating a video and uploading versus creating a game and uploading the game. For YouTube, it's very simple. User can just upload a video and usually the platform bears the cost. How about creating a game? Uh, it's pretty difficult and game developer usually bears the cost. Let's talk, talk about Burvy. Burvy is a game engine written in Rust and it's uh, data driven so it's quite promising. Let's look at how traditionally people write in Burby. You have a server code, you, wrote, uh, you write app new and you add some plugins and you can add plugins like network plugins and then you can add system. And this is the game logic which is shared between the server side and the client side. And finally you end off with run and this will run the game. Let's look at using serverless way and using Verizon Cloud. Uh, it's also quite similar. You can just write app new, but you can declare it as a static variable. And then you can make use of the actors in Verizon Cloud to create something called game logic actor. You can implement functions like start track in the actor and you can just put in the same logic as previously like the adding the system which is the game logic oh, but you can't run with uh you can't write end off with run because uh, this will run infinity loop and uh, you cause error all right so how you can solve the problem is you can write tick you can register a tick command so uh, it, within this tick command you can mutate the burby ecs world which is the entity component system and you can update the app but by itself this does not work because nobody is calling this tick command so what you can do is you tell the capability provider to start ticking so here's the piece of code where you can tell the capability provider to ping this actor with a fixed time interval. Next, I want to talk about some of the challenges that I face. Uh, and if you are very zealous about Wesson, be prepared of what lies ahead. Uh, you probably have to consider patching cargo tomel, uh, some of the crates here and Wesson Cloud capability provider needed by the game is not official yet. So what do I mean? Um, it means that, that there's no capability provider that actually gives the actor the timestamp it needs to run the game. So you have to consider writing it yourself. And one of the important trick is to use Wesson Cloud host call without async await. Uh, finally, some of the useful tools out there is Wesson Snake Tool. Okay, how it works. First, Wesson Cloud establish a lattice connection with the NAS communications. And then, what you have is uh, the NAS is able to expose the red socket traffic to the BV. And in BV, I wrote um, NAS protocols to handle the web socket communication. Hence, a multiplayer game can be established. Alright, here's the demo.
So what I'm doing now is I'm going to start track. Okay, so you can see the the, the game is uh, running. But what you see here is uh, the resin cloud uh, creating an actor and it's healthy. And uh, it's, it's ready to for a player to join the game. Okay, let's start the game. All right, you can see the chicken and I can move left and right. Uh, let's create new game and let's run it side by side. Okay, let's run it side by side. Yeah, you can see that uh, this motion, the, ch the chicken uh, moves accordingly. That's all for the demo. Let's go back to the slides. All right. So one of the good thing about Wasm is it's flexible and it's extendable, not limited to just Burvy. You can consider any game engine that supports web assembly. Uh, it's also not limited to Wasm Cloud as the host. Well, you can consider perhaps AWS Lambda or uh, resin edge. All right. Some of the potential benefit to the host is you can uh, you can have a new business plan, which is uh, pay per traffic rather than the user has to pay fixed time, a uh, fixed amount, uh, by subscription. Well, resin is a smaller con containerization, and with smaller containerization, you maximize utility. Uh, game server logic is also uh, can be easily uploaded and downloaded. Some of the potential benefits to game developer is, well, uh, you can NFT the game server, right? You can let the user play for free and sell the NFT tokens uh, to those people who are interested in the game. Uh, you can IPFS the game server binary together with the some of the manifest file. NFT holders can be given special privileges. Uh, finally, I'd like to say that uh, it's quite good for this cloud initiative because uh, it's open source and there's a stringless attachment to the cloud host provider. Uh, it's a pretty easy switch uh, between the game, the cloud host provider, just need the cloud host providers to have the same capability provided needed for the game. That's all. Bye.